Hi guys, welcome back. Today we're going to be showing you how to make and use a baler bucket for your well. Okay, so there's many reasons why someone might want to use a baler bucket for the well and it could be cost instead of installing an expensive well pump you might want to save a little bit of money and just access your well with a baler bucket it's very inexpensive we were able to get all of the things that we need for under a hundred dollars but I'm sure you could source it even cheaper than that um, that's one reason. Another reason could be in a power failure kind of situation. You may want to get a baler bucket so that you can access your well. If your well pump runs on electric, it's not going to be pulling that water out. So that's another reason as well. Or if you're living off grid or boondocking, there's literally a million reasons why you might want to use a baler bucket. Um, so we chose to do a baler bucket because right now we're still living in a camper and running a well pump to the camper the way that we have it situated doesn't make a whole lot of sense it's a lot of work and a lot of money that you know we can just wait until the house is done so instead we're going to do a baler bucket fill up buckets of water and bring it to our camper and fill it in there so that's why we're doing this here today so we're going to go step by step through the process of how to build it and then we're going to show you how it turns out for us so stick with us So I was videoing and I looked over and here's my, my beautiful girls following me over here. Yeah, go ahead, find the bugs. I'm sure there's lots. I'll protect you. Go ahead, girls. I've literally been trying to get them to come over here with me <laughs> since we got them. Because I know there's tons of bugs out here. Um, I'm so excited they came over on their own. I guess you all are starting to trust me a little, huh? You're so beautiful, girls. We're going to get one of these guys here. Picking up one of these couplings here. One of these adapters. It's a male adapter, one and a half inch. And we're picking up this foot valve. Okay, we're gonna get one of these guys here. We're just gonna pick up two of these guys too, just to make sure that it's nice and clean before we do it. And then we're picking this one up here for about 37. And the nylon rope, which is 100 feet, and this is about $9. So we've got all of our supplies back from Lowe's and we're ready to get started putting this all together. Um, so I've got all my supplies laid out and then we also have our PVC pipe, 
which we're about to cut to length now. Okay, so the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to take the cut end because it didn't turn out exactly perfect. It's hard to do with the tools that we have, but that's the end that's going to sit up going into the well. So this is going to be the bottom part and that's where we need to fasten the rest of our pieces to. So I want that to, to look pretty nice um, and not have, cause any issues on the bottom. So all that we're gonna do right now is draw, drill our holes. So this rope is going to feed through the holes that we're gonna drill eventually, but we're gonna pre-drill them now so that we don't have to worry about doing that later and messing up anything we do down here. You ready? Yeah, let's do, do it. the honors. We're gonna go about two inches down and drill holes on one on each side of the pipe. Right about, how about right through the zero? All the way through. <laughs> Perfect. All right, so one hole is done. So we're just gonna go roughly the other side of that. Does it have to be the same? It doesn't have to be exact. We just gotta get rope through it. So it's right there. Mm -hmm. All right, so that is number two. I uh, did pretty good. Yeah, because your wife directed you. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so that's going to be for our rope later. What we're going to do is attach our foot valve right here. And then we take the screw part, screw it on in the inside. This is the first time I've ever worked with anything with a PVC pipe <laughs> at all, <laughs> ever. So if she can do it, you can do it. Yeah. <laughs> She's gonna be cutting that part out. Yeah. Probably. But the idea is we just need to make sure that it's on tight enough that the foot valve is not gonna come loose from the pipe. Because the last thing we want to have happen is as we drop it down into our well 100 feet, um, we lose the foot valve all the way in the bottom. You don't want to lose any parts of this. So we're going to do our absolute best to make sure it's in there good. Let's let him see if he can get it a little tighter. <laughs> Makes the funniest faces. Do it for the camera. <laughs> <laughs> we're good so then all we're going to do is we're going to clean the inside here clean the outside here and get the cement on and pop it on and then let it dry so that way it gets a really great seal because the other thing we don't want to do is we don't want to get this piece on here drop it down the well and then from the pressure this piece just pop off because then we lose the whole bottom of our <laughs> our piece And <laughs> it says to use safety glasses. Let me follow the instructions. Are you serious? We don't want our viewers <laughs> to think we're irresponsible people. So we're just going to let this all dry for a little bit. So that way the chemicals kind of just finish doing what they're doing. And then we'll use the PVC cement. So we'll be back with you guys in a few minutes. <laughs> Where are your glasses, Mr. Safety? Cheapies. 
Do you unscrew? That doesn't go everywhere. <laughs> Woo! Why is everything so hard to open? <laughs> Did it move? No. Nope. Oh. Not a budge. Mm -hmm. It's bending the whole container and that's a problem because then it's not going to be able to move at all. <laughs> <laughs> you want to tell the audience how to open it up? You don't twist it and destroy your hand. <laughs> you use a flathead to lift the lid up, Look, just like I thought. It looks like a screw. We've never done anything with the PVC before or anything like this. Oh my goodness. Okay. So I'm going to do my part okay. and your part, and then we're going to make it happen. Make it on your clothes. Okay, so now we've put all of our fittings together. We have the PVC cement, so we're just gonna let it sit here. It says 15 minutes until you can handle it, two hours for the full cure. We're probably just gonna let it go the full two hours, and then all we have to do is hook up the rope to it, and then hook the rope to our spinner, and then test it out. Okay, so we've set up our line on our hose wheel here. And we've connected it to the baler bucket. We're gonna drop it in. Okay, so that is it for us making a baler bucket. We hope that that was helpful for somebody out there that might want a cheap solution to get the water out of their well. Or maybe you don't have electric hookup or some other obstacle, but it worked well. We're excited. At least we have access to the well that we have on our land now. So thanks so much for watching, guys, and we'll see you next time.